So hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we're going to make a C++ project on the topic quiz game. So without much delay, we'll begin. First, requirements. You require an IDE or an integrated development environment for running the code. Then you require a text editor, which may be anything as per your choice. I have mentioned two names here, code blocks or VS code. Third, an operating system. Again, it depends on which system you're working on. The recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. So we'll move again to the code part. Here we have the header files as such included I use stream and string. Then we have the standard line that is using namespace std. We have two variables of integer data type that is int calculate and int sum. Then we have a class named quiz where under the private access, uh, private access specifier, we have string variables named question, answer option one, answer option two, answer option three, and answer option four. Then we have a integer variable named right answer and a, again another integer variable named marks. Then under the public access specifier, we have a function named values where we have five string inputs and two integer inputs. Then we have void ask function. In the main function, we are displaying the quiz zone and to start, press enter, then quiz. So these are the instructions which we are providing the user. Then in the input section, we are in getting a name and the age. So it's asking us to enter the name, the age, and it displays whether we are ready for the quiz or not. If we are ready for the quiz, we need to press yes or else no. If the response will be yes, then it displays best of luck or else it displays thank you if your response is no. Moving further, these are the certain options which we have. A, B, A up to Z, Z A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Then for every question, we have four options from which one option is correct, which happens in a quiz generally. So here for J variables, we have J values functions having each one question and four options. So then what we are doing is we are calling the ask function for each and every letter that is from A to J. For each and every letter, we are once referring to the ask function. Then after answering all the questions, so you, we need to display the sum score as well. So we display the total score out of 100. After which we display the result. If the player passes the quiz, what is the criteria? If the total score will be greater than or equal to 70. And what do we need to display? Congratulations, you have passed the quiz. Or else, sorry, you failed the quiz. Better luck next time. Then we have these values string Q, string A1, string A2, A3, A4, and so on, which are question, answer 1, answer 2, answer 3, answer 4, and correct answer and the values. And the marks, that is points which you got. Then there is a function to ask the question. You have to print the questions and display the answer. Like the question will be printed and you need to answer. You need to press the correct answer. If the answer is correct, then you get bonus marks or you get marks or else you don't get any marks, you get zero. Like points for every correct answer and for wrong answer, you get zero. So this was actually our code. So now we'll be moving towards the actual implementation of the code and I'll show you how this code works. So let's go to VS Code to analyze this code. So to press, we have to enter. So here we enter the quiz zone. So what's my name? I need to enter my name, which I entered. My age is 20. So am I ready for the quiz? I press yes. So let me see the question and the answer. So I press one, wrong. Again, I press four which is three. 
So then what is your answer? I press seven. So here I, I got zero out of 10 till now I didn't get any correct answer. So I press here two. Then I press three. Then again, I press three. Again, three, again, three, again, three, three. So I got 60 out of 100. If I get, let's see, so my scores are less than what the in, intended score, that is 70. So I failed the quiz. So now let me pass the quiz because obviously I need to pass the quiz as well, right? So let me run it again and I'll show you. My code is running. See, I enter the quiz zone. So my name is Simran. My age is 20. So I am ready for the quiz. Yes. Best of luck. So what's my answer? My answer is 3. 3. See, the scores has been updated. So for each question, I, I pressed 3 because so we have not set the questions. Like it depends on the user. You can modify the questions as for your choice. So the answer which we default we have is 3. So we have entered 3 for every section. And see, I got 100 out of 100 and it says, congratulations, you have passed the quiz. So this was our code. So I hope you understood the working of this code. Actually, what the thing is, like you can, this is a self-made code and this is like dynamic for every user. So you may put your questions onto the file, your answers to the file. Accordingly, you will get the results. We have kept the code quite open-ended. So I hope you understood the working of this code. And for four interesting and fun ideas, subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.